I sat down with a bunch of kids from Faith Boulevard and asked them about our ministers for Minister Appreciation Month. I learned a lot of things. Primarily what I learned is that the majority of the kids here have no idea who our ministers are. Who is this? I don't know that. You don't know this guy? <laughs> okay. Do you know this guy? No. Okay. Who's this guy? I'm not sure. I've never seen him pre. Do you know this man? No idea. Do you know this guy? Still no. What about this guy? I know. You don't know? <laughs> <laughs> I forgot his name too. Who's this guy? Um. <laughs> Who's this guy? He's Frank. No, I do not know who he is. This might have been a bad idea. I don't remember his name, but I know him. Uh, I don't know. I, I know him, but I don't know his name. I don't know any of these people. Who is this? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> How about this guy? I think I have. You, you think you have? Yeah. You remember his name? No. Okay. I don't know. You've never seen him before? Mm -mm. Never seen him up, up on, up at the front? No? Have you ever been to church here before? Yeah. Okay. Who is this? He, I, he doesn't preach, but he does pray, but I still don't know his name. And, I don't, and I don't know your name either. <laughs> <laughs> Most of the kids did seem to know one guy. Steve. Mr. Steve. Mr. Steve. Mr. Steve. I know who that is. Who? Mr. Steve. Oh, oh Mr. Steve. Mr. Steve. That's Mr. Steve. How about this guy? Steve. Who's your Steve? Steve. Steve. Who's this guy? Steve. Who is this? Mr. Steve. Shh, Mr. Stevens. <laughs> Mr. Stevens, mm -hmm. what do you know about Mr. Stevens? He's our preacher. Yeah. What's your favorite thing about Mr. Stevens? He always steps on the thing. He steps on the thing? <laughs> like really hard. <laughs> you mean like he stomps his foot? Mm-hmm. No, that was him. Oh. Sometimes he scares me in his lessons. You mean like with? Like when his, threats like when he goes, ah! Oh, <laughs> not yeah. the content. Uh, Mr. Steve teaches and sometimes he beats really loud. Oh yeah! I always know Mr. Steve, he does preaches. He preaches shout your, hallelujah. He preaches shout hallelujah? What is something that Mr. Steve says? Jesus. He's funny, he's kind. He likes to talk to people. He really, really preaches. Really, 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 really good. What is something that you think Preacher Steve would say? What's something he says a lot? I don't know. That's okay. We don't always listen. <laughs> He's nice. He is my friend. They did know something about the rest of our ministers. Something about them. Do you know who this is? Mr. Rick. What do you know about Mr. Rick? Mm, that he works here. He's always talking to us. He's so funny. Mr. Rick. He always gives us a fist bump. He always greets me, you know, what's up, and it's every time there's a fist bump, every single time, and, and then it's usually followed by giving me a hard time about Tennessee football. Rick. Rick did the benevolence program while well, we still had it and we did a great job making sure everyone could receive what they need and making sure people could come in here, get a meal, get food, and clothes or anything like that that they might need. Rick, uh, I believe he ran our benevolence program which fed a lot of people and did a lot of good for the church, so Rick's a good one. That was just a huge program for our church and like so many good things have come out of that and like so many people in Decatur have been reached by him. God is good all the time and all the time God is good. What about this guy. Mr. Keith. What do you know about Mr. Keith? That he's a youth minister. It's Keith Jett. Oh, first and last name, Keith with a win. Tell me what you know about Keith. 
he's so funny. He helps us, and I'm going to be going into sixth grade soon, so he's going to help me a lot. Keith is a fun person to be around, too. Keith always comes in. He's making sure you're okay. He always jokes around, trying to put a smile on your face, making sure you're here and loving what you're doing. Keith would tell you good morning, no matter if it's Sunday morning, Sunday night, or Wednesday night. He's always going to greet you with good morning. Oh, we love Keith. Um, he has been a youth minister, assistant youth minister for forever, and you can tell he loves his job so much. Like, he is up there every time we're hanging out till super late, and he just hangs with all of us and is just like one of us. I love Keith. Keith has been our youth minister for forever, and, you know, Keith is always there no matter what we're doing, early, late, always there, and he's, even though, you know, Sam's a bit younger and Keith is, there's a bit more of an age gap. Keith still is able to reason with us and hang out and just be there for us. And anybody that needs anything, you know, you can always go to Keith and he'll be there. I love Keith. He's so much fun just to the youth group. He always just, whenever we're all together, he just brings us together and brings so much joy, whether it's hanging out at the church or just at church on Sunday mornings. What about this guy? He's a preacher. He leads in that auditorium over there. He leads these Hispanics and uh, worship and kind of like Steve. Mr. Husto. He teaches the Hispanic people. Husto, he writes a lot of good stuff in the bullets and I really like what he has to say and it's pretty spot on on whatever topic. Husto. Husto, what do you know about Husto? Um, he teaches right there in the auditorium over here. Um, Husto? He um leads the he leads the Hispanic people um for what Mr. Steve says and he says it in Spanish to the Hispanic people. I know him. He's the guy that that he he talks about God. Mr. Trey and he also yells. He yells sometimes. That's Trey. What's your favorite thing about Trey? And don't say his hair. I don't know. <laughs> if you had to say who has the best hair between me and Mr. Trey, who would it be? Mr. Trey. <laughs> Trey Durden. I don't know too much about him, but he he's our new minister. He's our new minister, and I don't. I remember them talking about like, hey, there's a new minister coming. He's gonna uh. He's gonna be great and he is. Do you know what we got as soon as Trey started working here? No, I don't think so. COVID. Who is this? Mr. Trey. What do you know about Mr. Trey? Um, that he preaches sometimes. Trey, uh, I love Trey. Trey's a great guy. He, you know, anytime you see Trey, whether it's in public or like, Friday night, I saw him at the football game. It's always, what's up? And he's very energetic and positive. And, you know, a lot of people, when they go out in public, it's like they put on a face of their happiness and stuff. But I think Trey has that kind of happiness that you can't fake and you can't beat that. What about this guy? I know that guy. Who is that guy? The one who leads us some songs. What is your favorite song that Mr. Zach leads? It's his, his name is Mr. Zach. His name is Mr. Zach. Shut hallelujah. Shut hallelujah. Shut hallelujah. Shut hallelujah. And to the Lord. Sing aloud to God. Let the people shout into his throne. What's your favorite song? Blue Skies Are Rainbow. Oh, I did not have her say that. I like that song too. And I don't think it could ever be led too much. What about this guy? Oh, he means song. He's a great singer. Mr. Zach, he sings. And what? one time when there was a new song, he messed up and we had to start over and over and over. I think you just started over once, to be fair. Zach, he's a funny guy to be around. He loves to crack jokes and stuff like that. And he, we all could tell that he loves to sing and loves being up there to air and worship. Zach. Zach. I love Zach too. He always comes over there to greet us uh, on Sunday mornings in the youth section. And he's always talking about something with us, something that's happened, whatever. You know, we always go out to eat uh, 
most of us sometimes on like after church and at lunch or at night. And I can just about guarantee you at Casa on a Sunday night, Zach Leghorn's probably gonna be there. Is it the new guy? Is it the new guy? <laughs> the new guy. This guy? Mr. Sam. Tell me about Mr. Sam. One day when we were at school, he gave us candy. What? What do you know about Sam? Um, he's the new uh, youth minister. We actually uh, babysitted his kids what? out of my house. Sam, he has come in here and just taken over everybody. Like, we all love him. And it was probably a big move for him and his wife. And he's just so energetic and, like, fun to be around. He just came in here and like fit in so well with everybody and I love babysitting his kids. <laughs> um, Sam, he's just like one of us. Like he walked in and he would put um, his little kids and we just sit him and bring him to everybody and everybody would keep on playing with him. So what I'm hearing is that Sam has you guys watch his kids a lot? Like in a good way. Oh, sure. Pretty brilliant, honestly. A lot can be said about Sam, but Sam is like, just like a little kid running around. <laughs> he's always very energetic. Um, he's always making jokes, trying to keep everyone's spirits up and make it, showing love to everybody. We appreciate you guys and we love you. We appreciate say our ministers. We love and appreciate our ministers. We love our ministers and we appreciate you. We love our ministry and we appreciate you. We love you. We appreciate you. We love our ministers and we appreciate you. We love all of our ministers. Thank you for everything you do.